Hi there guys, uh, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, we'll begin a few minutes, okay? Uh, let's take this off. Okay. Uh, so let's, let's talk about Spy a little bit, huh? While we're at it. So today, what happened was just big old downtrend, right? By the way, this is Jazz, aka Trend Trader for you. Uh, some of you probably know me. If you don't, uh, I run a little uh, Facebook group and a little chat room, and we talk about uh, the trades. We talk about uh, trade ideas. Uh, basically, mostly cover a lot of technical analysis. Okay, support, resistance, candlesticks, uh, uh, trends, you name it, we cover it. And prior to taking the trades, we try to uh, talk about them and you know guide the members in the right direction right now for instance uh, let's look at spy a little bit today okay we'll begin uh, in a few minutes um, we've got about uh, another uh, six seven minutes okay so let's look at spy I'm just going to go into smaller time well first of all this is right here was the support that I was waiting for okay this was one of the support levels which broke, which broke today, right? Actually broke yesterday, but it came back, retraced a little bit, then ended up coming back again. What I'm looking at is the hourly candle. Let's go into 30 minute candle. So it makes it a little bit easier, right? So you can see from the day, uh, today's 25th, it started off from here, right there. Okay, went up a little bit. Then from there on, it kept selling and selling and selling. This was the support that, um, you know, I was, uh, actually confident about uh, you know holding the support it didn't then he went to test this uh, gap area which is right around here right and in fact that even blew out too so it ended up closing all the way down so if you look at the daily chart okay the daily chart it's coming to a prior support area where we call the trade off in this for a little bit longer term right swing trade on it right and form a little bit of flag in here let me just zoom in a little bit and it broke this flag to the downside. It was a bull flag. It started breaking to the upside. That's where we were uh, projecting that it'll go. It broke it to the downside, okay? So this is where the stops would have been. Once it broke this red little candle, once it broke in, that would have been the exit on that, okay? And today it just kept on selling and back down into this um, uh, SPY old resistance, now support. It acted once. Let's see if it holds again. Based on today's action, this is very, very bearish, okay? Open all the way at the top and closed all the way at the bottom we'll see how that you know, works out tomorrow maybe some kind of retracement back and comes deeper into this the daily level maybe bounce off to that you have we do have it a uh, trend line test also so we'll see if that trend line hold this area holds at the same time okay uh, actually I don't need this let's take this out and go into the smaller time frame how we were able to stay out of it okay first of all as you can see clear downtrend right from the 30 minute on it we looked we were actually looking for entries uh, we had a few longs that worked out really nice uh, we'll talk, well, I'll talk about one of them as I do the presentation and then we had a um, uh, few shorts in there too Apollo was short and uh, there, were, there were a couple others that were short which worked really nice actually so let's go into three minutes and I'll show you exactly how we were able to stay out of it okay you just ignore this uh, red uh, rectangle boxes so what I'm seeing in here is as it dropped down went up and in fact um, when I was doing the little um, review uh, you know prior recap uh, in the morning I said probably retrace back up to yesterday but look for this area to get retested and probably move down and didn't go all the way up but it did go and once it broke this low right there we just kept on going lower and lower and in fact there was in here we were looking for a trade to the long side in fact this is a bear flag right as you can see nice huge move down flag into the bear side now that flag never broke into the upside okay that would have been a violation of the bear flag instead it broke to the downside then again another move down right and then there was another once he was basing around right and since this was in the area in fact let me go back out so this was happening in this area, right? This 30 minute area. Thought it would have some kind of a reversal to the upside. Nope, not again, right? Didn't happen again. 
in fact what happened based around here and this would have been the entry okay to to in fact I said if it goes above 20717 we might see some kind of upside on it that didn't happen right so it went down kept putting lower lows lower highs and then eventually you know it just came to a point where it filled the gap so if you look at in the uh, 30 minute right this was the gap right where this line is right so it stayed out it stayed that way and you know it's amazing how you can save yourself by just doing a little bit of analysis I, I don't have anything on the chart you know you don't see any SMAs you don't see you know any major indicators just clearly you know reading the price action and following the trend and did it ever told me that to go long no, it never, not even once, not even at a point where there's bear flag, not even at this point. We're looking to go to see for some kind of reversal onto the upside, which never happened. So anyway, so we'll see what this, ha what this uh, does tomorrow. Let me see if we see um, any anything in the hourly time frame. Uh, so possibly this area right there, okay? Uh, yeah, we're not going to need this, so we'll put this here. So let's see if this holds okay since this is the bottom of the support on the daily we'll see if this holds okay so let's kind of like right around okay, right around this area so let's see if this holds if it doesn't hold it'll probably go down maybe come down in this area there's a gap in here too that was circled out uh, this weekly analysis that goes out to uh, uh, all the members on the spy but we just kind of did a quick rundown on it and if it comes up a lot of shorting opportunities okay there's one right here beautiful shorting opportunity in here and there's one right right around here okay and this is what we talk about in our uh, recap in the mornings that uh, what's what to do and what how we uh, plan out our supports or how we plan our resistance and where exactly we can see spy turning and uh, only on reversal we don't just you know, dive in it, what a lot of people a lot of traders do and it's okay because even if I did dive in, right, let's just say, and if I went long in here as the support came, how much is my risk in here? Only this much, right? If we went up, it would have been probably 208, 28 area would have tested, but always have your risk defined before you go into a trade. So anyway, so that was that's that. Um, since this is being recorded, I'm going to uh, put this on my uh, Facebook group, um, and then we'll uh, discuss this even further in our um in our mem uh, members area right so let's talk about something let's, let me turn these off uh, hopefully it's working yep broadcast good so what are we going to talk about today is types of traders okay just a little disclaimer right guys uh, nothing that I uh, teach it's just my opinions observations and it's not uh, should not be construed as a financial advice or trading advice uh, and my uh, teaching presentation should not be reproduced or copied. It's just sole a uh, property of uh, I've created all this from scratch. And please uh, comply with these, and you'll have a great relationship, right? So types of traders. So everybody, you know, have their own style, right? They have their different style of trading depending on how long they hold their trades. Some traders only wants to watch the charts once a week. You know, somebody could be a business, that, you know. Uh, at their um, work and don't have the computer access or you know just don't want to look at the charts all day long right or some just once a day they have enough time to you know maybe I don't know take a lunch break or something they go back you know let me look at what my stock is doing or they might have initiated a position where they're in it for a few days to maybe a few weeks and some are like me constantly watching the markets throughout the day in and out in and out right first first hour and a half um, I trade and kind of rest it out unless there is major activity going then last hour and a half uh, I try to get back in again meanwhile what we do we uh, we talk about all the you know educational stuff with the members I go over all the charts uh, all, all the basically I try to answer all their questions that they have about uh, as far as the technicals go right then there are traders that just stare at the screen all day long and they hope wish want the price to move in their direction and it doesn't happen so example of that was right here Hey, anytime. Wow. 
okay well anyways so those are the traders that they're waiting for the price to rip to one or other direction and they keep on watching the charts okay let's see if this pulled up are you kidding me all right so let's talk about the types of traders there are okay this is this is a pretty short presentation not too long but uh It'll help you get to know yourself better. What, where do you stand as far as uh, what type of uh, you know a trading level you're at? Okay. First of all, there's there there are actually few different kinds. But there are four four main trader types that I'll talk about. Scalpers. Okay. They hold their trades for minutes and take multiple trades throughout the day. And their choice of time frame tick charts one minute to five minute charts. Okay. So let's talk about it in a little bit detail, right? These are the traders that trade big, okay? They, they're literally trading maybe, you know, well, you can call them high frequency traders too. Those are the ones that move the market. But the scalpers, they're tagging along with them because they know how to read the charts. These are the most skilled traders, okay? And they know exactly where the support and resistance is. They get in and they get out. Uh, they're basically, you know, taking about many, many trades a day. It could be from 20 to 30 trades a day, right? It could be 10, at least 10 trades to 20 trades a day because they're sitting on the computer. They're waiting for every opportunity they can get. And they, some trades off of tick charts, uh, not to go in detail, but what tick chart is, is number of transactions, right? The thinkorswim, for instance, what I have is it has the minimum you can go is 133 ticks. Basically, 133 transactions that happen, a tick moves up or down. Okay, if they're positive, they move up. If they're negative, it goes down. But every 133 transaction, each tra one transaction could be 100 stocks, right? Bought. Next transaction could be, you know, thousand stocks that that were bought. But there are 133 transactions, so they look at that. Then they fall into one minute to five minute uh, kind of time frame. So I kind of fall between scalper to day trader because my trades start out based on a, a, a better time frame, right? But I do look at a three minute chart where I initiate all my trades. So let's talk about it. Let's go into the chart. Hopefully it's working. Okay, good. So by the way, these were the traders that just sit around all day and they just stare and stare and stare, you know, the way you want to go around is put your alert above, put your alert below, and from there on, you just, or you could be taking something else, right? You could have your alert, instead of watching this, you can say, you know, I'm going to put my alert above here. If it breaks up, alert me. If it breaks down, alert me. You know, simple as that. That's how it, that's how simple you could keep trading. So let's go into the smallest time frame in here, which is three minutes, right? The stock I'm going to talk about is KRFT. Come on. Why is it loading up so slow? Okay, there it is. So one minute. Maybe it's just accumulating all the candlestick. Okay. Talking about KRFT. One minute. Okay. So going to detail. Let me just zoom in, right? For instance, a scalper. If I if I were to hide this, right? A candlestick if I were to tell you I'm trading a daily chart you'd believe me if I didn't if I just put some kind of a marker on top of it right candlestick is a candlestick you know each candlestick represents that period itself next candle has nothing to do with the prior candle you know I mean, it tells you where the direction is going but they're all individual candles what you need to focus on where is your support what's your trend is that right then you can apply a little bit of other indicators you know depending on what you do market profile volume right stochastic bollinger bands whatever it is that, that can help you uh, give you more confirmation so as a scalper this guy this guy is getting into for instance uh, let's say he is waiting for this breakout right once this breaks out he's going to get in okay but he's going to trade big though Okay, for instance, he'll get in around maybe 8150, right? He'll 1,000 stocks, 2,000 stocks. As the move goes, he could be out literally one, two, three, four, five, six minutes, he could be out. Or he could do is, he could move his stop, right? Very, very tight. He could move his stop maybe 10 cents, you know, could be 5 cents, and he could keep on trailing this out. That's the scalper, going into the smallest time frame and trading it out. 
one minute to five minute I would consider as a scalper you start your trades in one minute you end them in one minute okay you don't go into you know one minute and then go back into 15 minute and say you know what 15 minute looks uh, bearish or 15 minute still looks bullish I need to stay in no you need to stick with whatever the time frame you're trading in as a scalper you want to start off with the smallest time frame as possible okay then that is why you get in here right and you get out here right then you're done right you have got the profit you don't even let it come down so another trade you want to take right let's just say you want to take a trade right around here 82 93 you go up you get in again you get in right around here you get out here you want, you're done with it right then you want to take a trade in here again you get in you get out that's how you take you can trade either direction so it went down like it went up then once you determine what the direction is right so you could take a trade in here 60 86 so 3 goes down you're up before it even goes up you're up you can take a trade in here again goes down you're up so that's a scalper you're trading the chart literally going down into the chart trading one minute or five minute doesn't that make sense okay so that is the that is the choice of time frame for the scalper the smallest time frame possible multiple trades these guys trade big and they keep a very very tight stop okay because they're trading big right next one day traders this is where most of the I would say most of the trading uh, traders fall most of the professional traders fall in but can you be a scalper and turn yourself into a day trader yes you can definitely do that but you need to know your stops and you need to know your targets and you need to know obviously the whole technical analysis right so you as a day trader you are, you are holding your trade from minutes to hours okay and you take few good trades throughout the day basically you fine-tune your entries okay you fine tune okay this is where I'm going to get in and once I'm in I'm going to hold that till I'm proven wrong based on some kind of support some kind of resistance or maybe an indicator right an indicator telling me to get out then I'll get out so these traders, uh, this is where I fall, okay, scalper, between day trader, right in between there because I, I'm starting on my trades at 3 minute, but I always go into a bigger time frame, right, which is as a day trader, go into daily, try to see if there is any kind of support, there is any kind of, uh, you know, um, resistance where I could take my a trade off of, right. So let's let's go into, in KRFT back again, so daily, so let, I'm just going to change the time frame to daily, okay. So daily, daily, daily. Let's just you know get in somewhere, right? This is a daily candle. Each candle itself is a daily candle, right? So for instance, if I were to take a trade, uh, let's say around here, right? Okay, this is my daily candle. I'm going to uh, you know plan out my entry. Where is where the is this? This was the one. Okay, let me just draw a little line real quick. So this is where my daily support is. Makes sense? Price bounce out of here. Price comes back in here. That's your support. I'm not going into detail about technical analysis, okay? So you know that once you get in, that's your daily support. What you do, you go back into the 60-minute time frame, right? Then you try to see what where the entry is, okay? Which is entry 60 minutes. Then you can go down into the 15-minute to even refine it and basically pull the trigger maybe 15 minutes you can even go into three minutes to actually pull the tri uh, trigger based on how the chart looks right so now you're looking at a bigger time frame daily 60 15 some day traders starts from 60 minute only they move up to 15 and they go up to three minute right for instance let's just say that today was a gap up right so let's do I'm just gonna go into 30 minute time frame right you can start from a 30 minute to doesn't matter as long as you know that where your where your stop is right as long as you know the uh, the direction of the trend once you've determined the direction of the trend from then you can say you know what I know where exactly I want to get in where I, I exactly want to get out so as you could see nothing much in 30 minute chart okay so you had a huge gap up today on KRFT so once you have determined that your trend is up you're taking trades in 30 minute right once the price triggers above the high of the day in here you're in the trade okay simple as that with your uh, stop right below it so let's go even into smaller time frame right let's go into 15 minute now that you determine 
that what what side you're on you're you're on the upside you're you want to trade keep on trading those longs as soon as, as soon as you get an entry you take it as soon as you get an entry you take it so basically 15 minutes you're in the trade right around maybe 8174 right as it goes up and till it reverses on you till it says okay it's reversing giving me some kind of reversal candle or is breaking the trend I'm going to stay in the trade in this case if you're a day trader you could have first of all if you have a profit from 8179 all the way to 8072 you you want to be doing something about it right you obviously you're taking something off the table for instance if you're in here and you want to keep on writing this and you see some kind of a you know bearish action coming in this is once it breaks this little once it stops going up you can say okay you know what this candle is coming down and making it low below this and I will just put my stop right underneath it so 84 86 you're done for the day so that's one decent trade right you can take multiple other trades in it right so for instance you can even go into smaller time frame now so three minutes now remember now that you know that your trend is up okay you've established a huge nice uptrend can I can you go into a smaller time frame to maximize your profits out so now you're in a three minute right you can go into three minute let me zoom in real quick okay so you got an entry 8179 as it's going up it, see how I went I said you can 84 something 84 so you can get out but in a smaller time frame it will even give you a faster reaction time right it'll tell you okay you know trend is about to reverse maybe I need to get out so once it came down maybe right around this area okay 8539 area I said it's probably going down in here based on the trend it had it broke the trend you can draw a trend line to see the trend right or you know it, it's some some of the time it's just you know simple stuff you can do once you broke this trend line you say okay I'm out of this trade because you broke the trend line that is as far as you go as a day trade okay can you take a day trade into a swing trade you have to have that mentality before you get into the trade don't just say you know what if this is looking really good I'm going to take this to swing trade no, because next thing you know, next morning, the price could actually open way lower than it opened today, right? It could happen. It does happen. So you want to have it all planned out. So day trades hold from minutes to hours. You don't, but you take good trades, two to three good trades, you know, depending on what stock you're trading, gap ups or gap downs, or something could be just, uh, you know, starting a swing or something, right? So that's, those are the day traders. That's where we fall in. And we called a bunch of trades today and let me actually uh, so Ella this was actually called this was high the day right around here this stock was uh, 8159 and the stop was right around here 8028 and he went up all the way in here today okay so that this trade was called somehow I canceled it but it had nothing wrong with it okay so if somebody wanted to take it there they were most welcome to take it based on based on the stop loss that was given and this was a trade um, that was called LL we called it about uh, about three to four times uh, on it okay it has showed really a uh, high relative strength over SPY while the SPY was going down this was actually just flying all day today okay in fact we we, we actually called the trade right at the bottom today so this was called then there was a trade right above here this was called and then the trade was I believe right around here that this was actually right here this trade was called and then there was another trade called uh, I believe it was high the day or something but this was it that that was all the trades uh, three trades right so one uh, two and three and these were all long trades okay but look at the direction of it we were calling the trades in the direction of the trend so you have to determine as a day trader what is the trend do not fight the trend right for instance if you see that once if you were in it from it doesn't matter from here from here even from here once you see that trend is going up and you see some kind of reversal coming in and that's what we talk about in the group right we talk about the different kind of reversals or what do we see okay what how do we exactly pinpoint that when to get out or how to move the stops okay so once it move that you're out of the game right you are as a day trader you can take one trade here right you can take a one trade right in there and then you can be basically out of the game and take two trades you're done right you're not you're not scalping this scalping you're not taking every single every single move that it has from here you're not getting out here okay 
you're not taking this trade and getting out. You're maximizing the profits by moving your stops because you're not trading as big as a lot of other scalpers. Scalpers are trading over probably maybe, I don't know, five, five, six, seven, eight thousand, you know, the stocks at a time, you know. So next one is your swing traders, right? The swing traders, they hold their trades from days to week to a week it could be a little more than a week too but they take much less trades rather than uh, trades over scalpers or day traders makes sense right these are the people who are working and they get in something uh, for instance let me show you right uh, in fact let me see if LL uh, is showing you that entry I think it was um, it was at a support uh, from longer time frame and it came to a point where it was putting a higher low or meaning it was saying that it's reversing or about to reverse on a trade which was if you see see how you see there is a support right it came down here price went up price came back down into the support right so in this manner the way you take the trade is not going to go into too much detail but you know once your support is so let's just try a simple line okay now I'm in daily time frame makes sense I mean daily time frame can I use the daily time frame for to initiate um, day trades? Yes, I can. You don't have to. You can only use 60 minute because you're only in it for um, you know just that day itself. But it helps me to even more prepare more because if I see that in daily something is popping up or popping down, I'll take that trade because it's giving a lot more confirmation. So I'll I'm a, that trade could day trade could turn into a swing trade you never know right if it keeps going up maybe let 25 percent of the uh, position run and if it turns out it could be a good decent enough of a uh, day trade but you need to know all that focus before you get you know you have to have some kind of plan you have to have a trade plan right so this was the support right so it, it's been coming down yesterday was one of the days when the price actually showed some kind of reversal and today once it gapped up once it went up all prior all these days that's when you know you know what there is a day trade there is a swing trade in here so somebody could have gotten in 30 or 7 they were probably at their work they're like you know what let me see if my order went in 30 23 their order went in and they're coming back end of the day again they're like let me see where my stock is at because they know once they're in there where where is their stop at that point once their order went in it's right below the support level right right around maybe i don't know 26 8 risking a little bit maybe but that this is where you trade a little bit smaller than day traders right this is where you definitely trade smaller than scalpers you because you if you if this comes down you're you're taking a huge loss on it you can't trade huge huge uh, stock size in in this one you can't trade five thousand because it comes down here you're literally talking about let's say 26 uh, 20 even three three thousand uh, i mean even uh, three bucks it comes down you're talking about 15 grand of a loss and that's a huge loss if you're trading 5,000 those are the scalpers who can do that does that make sense so from here now this guy is in okay he's like I'm safe I'm going to watch tomorrow morning again okay so he watches goes up maybe 3450 goes up again and 36 is like you know what it's it went up here it rolled this nice swing up right you could have this go up in here right that's your swing once that swing trader right you're writing the swing right makes sense once that swing trader sees that it rode the swing you had your target which was right around here 3648 and it's given some kind of reversal in this area that is when that that is the point when the trader is going to act smart he's like you know what I rode the swing it's been about four days I think it's it'll probably take a breather now I need to get out that is the point where the swing ends right hence swing trader right hold their trade from days it could literally it could be I took a trade uh sprint the other day that sucker ran up eight percent in one day you know and I got up you know I was up and because it gave me the target that I was looking for initially and I was fine with it right the following day it went down again right so for me to get out was smart move I, I could have let some run but then the days after that I think two to three days then he went up again so depending on you know what, what satisfies you you know I could have let maybe 25 percent run or maybe a little bit more but that when, once you get that kind of percent gain 
you definitely want to lock some profits. So if the LL goes to 37 tomorrow, you definitely want to uh, lock some profits in and maybe let some run. But these are the swing traders. They hold their trade from days to a week, takes much less of trades than scalpers or day traders. And their time frame could start from weekly. They'll do their whole analysis in the weekly. Then they go into daily. Then they can go into the four hour time frame to actually uh, see if it's ready to pull an entry. All the time, regardless is say a scalper, day trade, swing trade, uh, you know, longer term trade, you, you want to go in a smallest time frame after you get the uh, a confirmation to go that, you know what, this is good to go right now. So at, after you get weekly, daily, four hour, go into even smaller time frame. That, that's how I play it. I even go into, once I know that this is the area I want to go in, I even want to get an even better fill on it, right? So I'll go into three minute time frame and that's exactly where I'll pull the entry. So I can treat, uh, you know, I can, uh, um, uh, a, a, any, any trade that I get in, I can, you know, basically go in as a day trader in that trade, even though it was a longer term trade. Hopefully that's making sense. So then you have a long term traders. This is more likely probably the Warren Buffet approach, right? Hold their trades from weeks to months and e even years. They go for a long time and they add to their position based on technicals. So let's see, uh, let's type in Apple, right? Okay, see if this one is his approach, right? They're holding the trades, right? That they're getting in at every pullback, but they're, they're okay, they believe in the company. These people are doing a lot of homework. You gotta read up on the fundamentals, you have to read up on their you know, forward, uh, guidance you have to read up on their earning per share you have to basically do the three uh, i did a uh, it was uh, another educational video that i did i talked about uh, three financial statements right you balance sheet income sheet and cash flow these are the people that are looking at that and if you free or not you definitely should be looking at those there's a tutorial in there uh, in the in ticker tv you can you should watch it and you can go into more detail what you need to exactly see to have a strong fundamental base before you get in any kind of trade. So these people are looking at longer time frame, monthly, weekly, daily, right? So so this is daily chart, right? Let's go into weekly. I don't know why this is so slow. It shouldn't be. Everything else is working. Just this uh, free stocks. Uh, but Going back, this is the four different types of traders, okay? Scalpers, right? Hold it for a minute to a few minutes. Okay, day traders, look for great setups. You can hold it. Sometimes day trades could last only you know, 15 to 20 minutes, okay? Because they, they just gave nice enough pop and you need to get out at that point. I have a rule that I talk to my members about how, how much I want out of a trade, per trade, depending on the price. I have, I have that rule. And they know my rule because they know if, if it gives me that, I have more than enough time to move my stock, right? It's better than a scalper, but right between the day trader. And I could turn into a day trade uh, once that trade is going in my way. If I need to cut it down, to cut the loser down, I'll do that too. Then there's swing traders, right? These are from, um, these are more likely, you know, all the services that you sign up, probably pay hundred bucks, right? Oh, show me, give me a trade idea and um, I'll, I'll just pop in tomorrow put the order in then I'm done for the day you know or done for whatever and then I don't know if you have a loser you know winner but that's 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 their call right so then the long-term traders right this is what we talked about you going into the bigger time frame now you're going into weekly the swing traders can go in this one too but the what you call uh, long-term traders definitely need to look at the trend beautiful Apple trend maybe coming to somewhat of a you know I have a bunch of lines on here uh, Actually, this is the area where I would be looking to see some kind of pullback around this area. And then there's one down here. But these are the traders that are looking for longer term kind of trend. Okay, the, every time it, it meets a uh, certain criteria, touch of trend line, right? They'll go in or the break of this, they'll go in. They'll keep adding from maybe, you know, this this was a reverse split. I mean, a uh, forward split, right? So d depending on how they're getting and where they're getting they're they're basically adding and adding and adding based on the fundamental unless they see a huge break right well unless they see a huge break in the trend 
then they'll be like, you know what, maybe it's time to um, get out and maybe invest somewhere else. So these are your long-term traders. So that's it, guys. Uh, that was uh, the quick presentation. So thank you. That's where my email address is. And um, make sure you follow it if you're on. Okay, that way you'll get all the rest of the videos and you can join the free Facebook group. Okay. A uh, few Facebook group is this one, Trend Trader for you, and then uh, there is also a Elite Trend Trader group. Oops, that's actually it's my my page. Really, you're slow, huh? And before I end this, I did wanted to show you this. This guy made a really nice video, okay? My stock life, and I just really admired it, and I looked at it. So just type in YouTube, my stock life, okay, and you'll you just click on this uh, video. It, it talks about why does the stock market exist. It's really nice video. It gives you a overall sense of stock market, especially for people who are new. It actually talks about different types of traders and their scalpers, uh, day traders and non-form traders, right? But it's, it's, it's only six minutes. It's really nicely animated and I really love it. I would actually do something like that on my own. So watch it and see if uh, if it helps you, okay? And pass it on or whatever you want to do. So that's that and that's it. And I guess uh, we'll call it to that. All right, guys, take care. And this will be recorded. So come watch it anytime. I'll put it into the favorites, okay? Take care, guys.